It's a hard time for me. I mean, he was my dad. Lee Melvo has spent the past decade behind bars. His lawyers say that's enough time served. And Muhammad stared stoically at the ceiling, didn't blink, and just let the moment pass. So I taught him how to read so that he was able to be accepted. Early life. John Allen Muhammad, born John Allen Williams in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, was an American convicted slayer who, along with his partner and accomplice, Lee Boyd Malvo, carried out the D.C. sniper attacks of October 2002, slaying 17 people. The attacks were classified by the media as psychopathy attributable to serial slayer characteristics, but whether or not their psychopathy meets this classification or as a spree slayer is debated by researchers. Muhammad changed his surname after joining the Nation of Islam in 1987. At his trial, the prosecution claimed that the attacks were part of a plot to end his ex-wife and regain custody of his children. Muhammad's trial for one of the endings of Dean Harold Mayers in Prince William County, Virginia, began in October 2003 and ended with his conviction for a capital ending. Four months later, he was sentenced to demise. Muhammad was extradited to Maryland for trial in May 2006, resulting in his conviction on six counts of first-degree ending in May 2006. Escorted by a correctional officer on each side, one in the back. It's a hard time for me. I mean, he was my dad. Um, they immediately got him onto the gurney and started strapping him down. There were six correctional officers, part of the execution team. He was returned to Virginia pending an agreement with another state or the District of Columbia seeking to try him. All appeals of his conviction for slaying mayors had been made and rejected. Criminal Cases and Sniper Attacks John Allen Muhammad was a notorious serial slayer who committed numerous endings and robberies in the United States. He was captured in Maryland in 2002, where the most of the attacks occurred. The case was reassigned to the jurisdiction of Paul Elbert, the Commonwealth's attorney for Prince William County, Virginia, which was viewed as more likely to impose an ending sentence. In October 2003, Muhammad went on trial for the ending of Dean Mayers in Prince William County, Virginia. He was charged with ending, terrorism, conspiracy, and the illegal use of a firearm and face a possible ending sentence. The prosecution claimed that the slings were part of a plot to extort $10 million from local and state governments. The prosecution called over 130 witnesses and introduced over 400 pieces of evidence to prove that Muhammad undertook the endings and ordered Malvo to help carry it out. The execution of John Allen Muhammad has been carried out under the laws of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Uh, he was immediately, he, when, he, when he was brought in, he looked down at the ground, looked over at the gurney, but he appeared very calm. Somebody came to the mic and said that he was, he was gone. Muhammad's defense asked the court to drop the capital ending charges because there was no direct evidence. However, the Virginia Supreme Court affirmed his ending penalty, stating that Muhammad could be sentenced to demise because the ending part was of an act of terrorism. In May 2005, Maryland and Virginia reached an agreement to allow his extradition to face Maryland charges. He was held at the maximum security Sussex One State Prison near Waverly, Sussex County, Virginia, and later extradited to Montgomery County, Maryland. In 2006, a Maryland jury found Muhammad guilty of six counts of ending and sentenced him to six consecutive life terms without the possibility of parole. In 2008, Muhammad asked prosecutors to help him end legal appeals of his conviction and ending sentence. Testimony of Lee Boyd Malvo In Muhammad's May 2006 trial in Montgomery County, Maryland, Malvo confessed to a more detailed version of the pair's plans. He admitted to lying at the earlier Virginia trial when he admitted to being the trigger man for every slaying. He could make a weapon out of anything and he was an, a hand-to-hand -hand combat expert. Uh, John Al Muhammad was brought into the death chamber about 8.58 p.m. Kept winding down, and then I saw this man coming up to the microphone, and I knew he wasn't going to get back home. Lee Melvo has spent the past decade behind bars. His lawyers say that's enough time served. Believing he would not face the ending penalty, 
because he was a minor. Malvo outlined detailed aspects of the slayings, including Muhammad's complete plan with three phases in the Washington, D.C. and Baltimore metro areas. Phase 1 involved meticulous planning, mapping, and practicing locations around the D.C. area to end six white people a day for 30 days. Phase 2 was meant to be undertaken in Baltimore, but was never carried out. Phase 3 aimed to extort millions of dollars from the United States government to pay for travel to Canada, stopping at YMCA's and orphanages to recruit impressionable young boys with no parents or guidance. Once recruited, Muhammad would train the boys with weapons and send them across the United States to carry out mass layings as he had done in Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Peaceful Last Days John Allen Muhammad stepped foot into Virginia's ending chamber and within seconds was lying on a gurney, tapping his left foot. His arm spread wide with a needle dug into each. Mr. Muhammad, do you have any last words? The warden asked the mastermind behind the Washington area sniper attacks that slayed 10 in 2002. Muhammad, calm and stoic, was defiant to the end, refusing to utter any final words. The 48-year-old died by injection at 9.11 p.m., November 10, 2009, under the watch of relatives of victims of the slaying spree that terrorized the Washington, D.C. area for three weeks that October. Victims' families sat behind glass, separated from the rest of the 27 witnesses, who were quiet, looking straight forward, intent on what was happening. So I taught him how to read so that he was able to be accepted. Warden asked him, Mr. Muhammad, do you have any last words? Put the tape recorder there. The sniper shootings, one here at this Falls Church Home Depot, traumatized the entire metro area. And that's when he moved to Washington State and asked me to come with him. Malvo now wants his sentence reduced. He died very peacefully, much more than most of his victims, said Prince William County Prosecutor Paul Elbert, who witnessed the ending at Greensville Correctional Center south of Richmond. Muhammad was executed for slaying Dean Harold Mayers, who was shot in the head at the Manassas gas station during the spree across Maryland, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. Unreal Answers to why he and a teenage accomplice meticulously pursued people going about their daily tasks, why he chose his victims, including a middle schooler on his way to class, and how many there were to go to the grave with him. Bob Mayers, the brother of Mayers, described witnessing the ending as surreal and somber. He claimed that the other witnesses showed a variety of emotions, some of which included intense emotion. I would have liked him at some point in the process to take responsibility to show remorse. Mayer stated, We didn't get any of that tonight. Muhammad repeatedly blinked and inhaled deeply after receiving the first dose of the fatal cocktail, which consisted of three drugs. He was still for a minute. When Nelson Rivera saw Muhammad's chest move for the final time, he was relieved. Lori Ann Lewis Rivera, his wife, was shot and slayed while vacuuming her van at a service station in Maryland. I have improved. I suppose my breathing has improved, he remarked. I'm glad he's gone because he's not going to hurt anyone else. Wendell J. In his last hours, Gordon, one of Muhammad's lawyers, said his client remained bold and continued to insist on his innocence. Gordon stated, he will die with dignity, dignity to the point of defiance, before entering to witness the ending. The horror ended on October 24, 2002, when Lee Boyd Malvo and Muhammad were apprehended by authorities while they slept at a rest stop in Maryland. The automobile they were sleeping in had been modified so that a gunman could hide in the trunk without being noticed. Malvo, who was 17 at the time of the attacks, was given a life sentence without the possibility of release for the ending of FBI analyst Linda Franklin, 47, who was shot while she and her husband were loading supplies at the Fall Church, Virginia Home Depot. The men were also thought to have carried out deadly slayings in Arizona, Alabama, Louisiana, and other places. Muhammad's final appeal was dismissed by the U.S. Supreme Court, and Governor Timothy M. Kane denied clemency. Muhammad's lawyers claimed that their client suffered from severe mental illness. Thus, they had requested Kane to commute Muhammad's sentence to life in prison. And Muhammad stared stoically at the ceiling, didn't blink, and 
Just let the moment pass. Well, tonight, convicted D.C. sniper Lee Malvo has a new request. People couldn't put the shooter with his personality. They, they pull the curtain while the technicians come and, and start two IVs. Citing a Supreme Court ruling from last year that says it is cruel to sentence juveniles to life in prison. So that took a couple of minutes and then they pull the curtain back and Muhammad was lying with his arms out to the side. I see crimes that are this horrible. You just can't understand them. You can't explain them. Democratic Senator Tim Kaine stated, Kaine is recognized for giving ending penalty cases great thought. A tiny gathering of opponents of the ending sentence congregated on a patch of lawn close to the jail, holding a placard that said, We remember the victims, but not with more slaying. Muhammad was given the name Muhammad Allen Williams after he converted to Islam. Since joining the National Guard after graduating from high school in Louisiana, he has been in and out of the service. The Army drafted him in 1985. Despite not having had specialized sniper training, he obtained an expert rating with the M16 rifle, which is the military equivalent of the Bushmaster rifle, with a .223 caliber used in the DC slayings. The attack's motivation is yet unknown. According to Malvo, Muhammad sought to establish a camp in Canada, where destitute youngsters would get terrorist training in exchange for $10 million from the government. According to Muhammad's ex-wife, she thinks they were only a front for his plot to end her and take back custody of their three kids. Before the ending, which she declined to see, Sonia Hollingsworth Wills, the mother of Conrad Johnson, the final victim that October, sat in the back seat of a car outside the prison. Yet, she declared that she was eager to attend and was keeping track of the minutes before Muhammad's passing. It was the most horrifying day of my life, she recalled. I'll never get complete closure, but at least I can put this behind me. Cheryl Witts expressed her displeasure that Muhammad remained silent prior to his demise, as her father, Jerry Taylor, was shot and slayed in Tucson, Arizona golf course in March 2002. But she said that a new chapter in her life has begun with his ending. I've waited seven long years for this. She replied, this is the beginning of my life. I received all the justice, closure, and peace I need. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.